Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Recently I was challenged by YouTube to install Windows ME onto this 486 computer. The computer had a DX4100 and 32 megs of RAM, but still it wasn't quite enough to run Windows ME, or it couldn't find the drivers for it. Even though we did manage to install it, it didn't have any sound drivers and I couldn't get the CD-ROM drive to work, so ultimately I declared that one a failure. But at the end of that video, I did show that it wasn't my only 486 that had a chance of completing this challenge. So let's take a look at the other machine. So here it is. This is my Beast 486. I built this in my last video, which took me quite a long time, but it's all done now and it runs beautifully. This one, I think, has got a much better chance of running Windows ME. Not only does it exceed the 150 megahertz requirements of Windows ME, by running at 160 megahertz already. It's got 32 megs of RAM and a two gigabyte hard drive, which will make things much easier. But it's also got PCI slots and PCI VGA, which should get overcome the problem of the last video of not being able to find VGA drivers. So now I'm gonna go set this computer up and try and install Windows ME, see how far I can get and compare it to the last time. See if it's better and see if I can succeed. Let's go. After two days, I've finally managed to install Windows ME. After initially crashing during the installation, I ended up getting errors upon errors with further crashes and further blue screens. The first thing I tried was to install it onto a compact flash card instead of a hard disk. If anything, it would be quicker to do it the second time round. This time, I had much less crashes and did eventually make it to the desktop. However, any time I tried to load any programs, they would crash almost immediately, and then the PC would become unusable after that. So then began the troubleshooting. Initially I suspected the memory, so I did a few runs of mem test and none of them had any errors, so I could rule that out. Next up I decided to check the BIOS settings. No changing those would have any would make any difference. After that I decided to remove the sound card, as that wasn't working. I thought it wouldn't make any difference if I took it out, just to rule it out. That also made no difference. So next up I replaced the VGA card, which, while the replacement didn't work properly, the errors were still the same, so I could rule that out. After that, I increased the RAM to 64 megabytes, which of course still didn't make any difference. So after changing all of these things and ruling out as many things as I possibly could, I had to consider the fact now that the overclock that I thought was stable was perhaps not very stable. And probably what I should have done at the start was to revert the PC back to its stock speeds instead of trying to install it overclocked. But it was a bit late for that now. Anyway, once the PC had been set back to its stock 133 megahertz, all the problems were suddenly gone. So after two days of trying to install Windows ME, I finally had it working, including a working sound card. However, the sound card did show up some issues that people do have with Windows ME, and that is the drivers. It actually configured the sound card up automatically with settings that wouldn't work. So I had to go in and change them manually. And after I'd done that, the sound card was working fine. So let's launch some SimC and see how well or how not well this PC runs it. Well, as you can see, it's not running it very well at all. This is only a small save and it's still stuttering and even the music doesn't play smoothly. So although I haven't managed to install Windows ME onto this 486 and it is running and you can launch programs, there's really no reason to do it. It's not powerful enough and it's just made what was a usable system not usable at all anymore. So although it was frustrating to try and get Windows ME onto a 486, I did learn some things along the way and hopefully you enjoyed watching me trying to do it. So if you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Thanks.